The big question, of course, is who is calling the shots in Egypt? Well, right now it is Egypt's Supreme Military Council. The military, of course, remains a powerful institution, one of the bedrocks of Egyptian society. The Supreme Council includes leaders of the army, the Air Force, Navy and Air Defence Forces. The group's top brass includes Mohammed Hussein Tantawi. He is 75 years old and holds the rank of Field Marshal. Tantawi is Egypt's Defence Minister and the Commander-in-Chief of the country's armed forces. And before Mubarak stepped down, he was promoted to Deputy Prime Minister. Former US Defence Secretary William Cohen knows Tantawi and spoke of him earlier to our Wolf Blitzer. I had uh, worked with him while I was at the Pentagon and, um, and he had served side by side with uh, President Mubarak. Now the question is whether he will continue to remain uh, the head of the, uh, the military as such or whether that will pass on to a younger generation remains to be seen. Another key member, well, Lieutenant General Sami Hafez Enan. Now he is the Chief of Staff of Egypt's Armed Forces and the Commander of Egypt's Army. Enan is 63 years old and has spent considerable time training with the U.S. military. He was in Washington holding military talks when the protests first broke out. Now, keep in mind, all four Egyptian presidents since 1952 have come from the military. Mubarak himself is a former commander of the Egyptian Air Force. The country relies on conscription for its more than 468,000 active personnel and reserves of 479,000 more troops. And the U.S. has close ties with Egypt's military, as we said, providing more than $1.3 billion in military aid every year. But it is unclear what influence, if any, the U.S. holds with Egypt's armed forces when it comes to who is to lead the country next.